Hey folks, last week Amazon announced a minor change to some features in EC2 and I wanted to create a quick little video on one update in particular. This is the ability now to remove a public IP address that's been associated to an EC2 instance. Up until this, the, the change last week, you couldn't do this. If you stopped a machine and restarted it, it would get a new public IP address. The only way to remove permanently a public IP address from an EC2 instance would be to terminate that EC2 instance and launch a new one. This change, well, changes that feature or that uh, functionality. It's important to note here that I'm not talking about elastic IPs, I'm talking about public IP addresses. This is important for a couple reasons. First off, we can improve the security of our environments by removing those public IP addresses, right? Less ingress points. But also remember that AWS now charges for those public IP addresses. So if you wanted to go through and clean up some IPs, maybe that you had assigned to EC2 instances and, and you're realizing that that's not a great idea anymore, you can do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do this through the management console as well as uh, through the CLI, okay? I've already created a VPC. I used a VPC template that we make available on our uh, GitHub. I'll share a link to that in the description for the video and I've launched an EC2 instance. One of the things that I had to do here, our VPC deployment uh, disables automatically assigning public IP addresses to resources, EC2 instances in this case, that we deploy into a public subnet. So I overrode that setting and I've got a public IP. Changing this is actually quite simple. The way I'm gonna do it is I've selected my instance, I'm gonna go to networking, and I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to click on the uh, ENI, the Elastic Network Interface. And then I'm going to go to Actions. I'm going to say Manage IPs. I'm going to open up our interface and I'm just going to toggle that and click Save. So you'll notice here, it's, there's my public IP, 35.182. If I click Save, Confirm. And then if I go back to the Instance page, and highlight it, you can see it's gone. If I was to stop and start this machine, the public IP address wouldn't be there any longer. Okay. You can also do the reverse of this. So I can, I can go back to networking and say actions. And if you, if you needed to, for some reason, you just say auto assign, say so save. And if I refresh this again, there's our public IP address back. Okay. Really easy to do through the management console. I thought I'd also show you how to do this programmatically. Now, at first, I thought when I was getting ready to make this video, I would use Cloud Shell to do that. You can see it down here in the bottom left, or you can get to Cloud Shell up here. What I like about Cloud Shell is just a quick and easy way if you needed to run a simple CLI command, like I'm going to show you, uh, how you can just quickly run it inside the uh, management console. The thing that I ran into, though, was at least in, in my situation, the Cloud Shell is running a previous version of the CLI, and you need a the newest version of the Amazon CLI for this to work. So I'm gonna show you how I ran this through um, my CLI on my laptop. So let me just change the view, okay? And if I do AWS dash dash version, you'll see what I'm running, right? So this is the latest version. I did create, or I did put this in a cheat sheet for myself because the command is quite long. So I'm just going to drag this over here so I can type it in EC2. Modify, is it at, oh, modify network. And then what we need is the network interface ID. So let me grab that from the other screen. I'll just copy it. We can paste it here. And then it's just one parameter setting. We're going to say no associate public IP address, then hit enter, and we're done. That's it. So if we go back to the management console now and I refresh this again, our public IP is gone. Sorry, I'm on the, I'm on the interface view details here. So there's no public IP address. So there, there you have it. A quick and easy way to improve the security of your account by removing those public IP addresses.
but also to reduce the, the cost potential in your account again by removing those public IP addresses that uh, you now pay for. Okay, great. So that's the video. Thanks for watching.